Alright, I just wanted to make a quick video on how to connect the Fitbit, uh, in this case a Fitbit Charge HR, uh, to the iPhone or another iOS device. And I just got this, I just got it installed. Uh, I haven't uh, gotten the app yet, uh, so I will start off by downloading the app. And uh, then I will go into App Store and I'll search for Fitbit and then I will click Get and Install. It will probably prompt me for my fingerprint before he wants to install it because he wants to identify that I am me. Because for some reason when you download free apps you still need to identify that you are you. But actually now it didn't ask for my fingerprint. That was uh, amazing. It didn't want my identification. Uh, I got the free Fitbit app without identifying myself. Good stuff. Okay, it just uh, fully downloaded. Uh, I'll open it and then I get into uh, the Fitbit app. It looks like this. I have created a Fitbit account, so I will click login. Uh, oh, and then I have some details. Okay, I will just skip through and enter these details. Alright, I entered my details for my Fitbit account and it says that Fitbit would like to send me notifications. Usually I don't allow this from any app, but I will allow it for now. Oh, and it immediately found my charge HR. That's pretty interesting. I just synced it then with uh, with the computer and now I got into the app and it immediately showed uh, all the data well there's basically no data uh, but the data that is in there so here I have the dashboard uh, I have challenges that I can do I have friends I can add friends and then I have my account information and I am now connected to uh, the Fitbit charge HR uh, by going in here I can update some settings, I can activate uh, silent alarms uh, which seems like one of the more handy functions with this device uh, so I will uh, try this out, I will put an alarm for tomorrow at 9 o'clock and I will for now not repeat it, I will just try it out for tomorrow um, it will then actually sync this as you can see there it will sync it over to uh, the Fitbit nothing shows on the Fitbit to assure me that it's syncing but I guess I should just trust it and uh, know that it's syncing and I can also enable call notifications uh, uh, which I will do then you need to Bluetooth pair uh, your HR and iPhone. Okay, I will set that up to see how it works. Uh, it is then prompting me to wait a little bit. Charge HR would like to pair with your iPhone. I would like to pair Charge HR with my iPhone. So let's see if it lets me. Okay, uh, maybe that was it. Uh, I wouldn't really know. I was clicking the Fitbit. It said what time it is. Uh, steps, no heart rate because I'm not wearing it. Uh, okay, nothing is there uh, that informs me uh, whether this stuff is set up or not. Uh, at the moment I don't have another phone so I can not try this out but I will uh, try it and I will uh, showcase it in another video. Uh, I can then uh, check uh, heart rate tracking. Uh, it's on auto and that means it won't be running when I'm not wearing the device. That seems pretty handy. Uh, I can choose uh, clock face so I can change uh, how I want the clock uh, to look. I can uh, choose a main goal. It could be steps, distance, calories burned or floors climbed. Uh, I can choose if I wear it on my dominant or my non-dominant wrist. Uh, and then it will correct for the movement that I'm doing uh, depending on that. 
and when I tap uh, it will show a, the clock from scratch. Uh, I will keep that setting. Uh, let me uh, edit sync settings and uh, show the guide. And that is pretty much it I think. I don't have too much data here now so uh, there's not so much to see. I will come back with another video and I will show more of the data that you can find uh, through using this device. Uh, have a nice day!